I'll be showing you um, basically where I'm at with all the body panels and getting them all ready for primer which will then the next stage towards paint so as you can see here I'll show you a look around um, I've, I've already had it in primer at least once sorry if it's a bit dark by the way um, just for a rough feel of how the panels are how straight they are so as you can see well, most of them lined up. I've pretty much taken off whatever I can from the car. And so I'll be showing you the steps today that I'll be taking to get it ready for the next stage. Now, I'm sure most of you have been told this, but of course, prep work is what makes a good paint job. So I'll show you the driver's guard I've got here. And I've probably put easily a few damn hours into this. It's got various layers of paint and primer and stuff like that. That's how much I had to sand in certain areas just to get it all smooth. There are still small imperfections, little scratch marks, but I wouldn't be too worried about them as the primer should fill in most of those ones. But it's more about just running your hand back and forward against it, feeling for any imperfections like high spots or low spots, and physically just looking. So this panel here, I'm pretty well almost happy with it. Still needs quite a bit more work but um, I'll be working on some other stuff today which are a bit less behind in progress compared to this one um, one more thing is when you're um, doing the edges make sure you get them all back to bare metal because what that'll do is I'll show you on the other white one here is if you have too many layers of the paint in between like it doesn't happen too often but when you open the doors in these door jams right here it'll um since it's so much build up it can crack and stuff like that so I sand it back to bare metal and yeah start from the start now also because i'm doing an open door respray um i'll be spraying inside the guards as well especially in these little spots here because once you open the driver's door you'll see spots like that all in here so that's all going to be um, painted the same as the body all right but yeah so enough of that fender for today I'll be using uh, one of the doors because I need to do all the doors so I'll show you the steps I'll be taking now if you're going to be doing a closed door respray you won't need to worry too much about taking all the panels off and just things like that but if you're doing an open door I would suggest take the panels off and what I'm just using is two of these uh, easel stands, workhorses, whatever you call them nowadays. Um, so yeah, they just make the job easier. You're not bending over because you don't want to do anything to your back. So I'm going to pop it up on here and we'll get to it. Okay, so I've had some high and low spots or just scratches, dents, anything like that. And I've just gone over it, skims of bog. Um, as you can see. Try to do it as light as you can. You don't need to be heavy. Um, and yeah the lighter easier is to sand so pretty much I'm using my electric sander here I believe 180 grit anything for primer I recommend just using the, the electric stuff it saves a lot of work and time um, once the primer is on you want to do everything by hand just to get that perfect finished before paint so um, yeah electric sander see Gets, it's a dirty job <laughs> but um, yeah we're just gonna go over the bog there and try and get it as smooth as I can you don't need to go through like all the bog like I when I first started I got to the confusion like all the bog had to be gone to fill in the dents not true because like if there's a if there's um, a low spot the bog should be smooth with the body you can still see it so that's why go, go at your own pace take time wipe it down feel it make sure it's all smooth I'll be showing you that now anyway. Alright, so that's pretty much all well smooth now. You can feel that with your hand. And just generally by looking at it as well. Of course, there's still a few tiny scratches and stuff like that, but once the primer's on and you stand that back with 1500 or 2000, that should get rid of most of them. 
and if not then you, we just repeat the process pretty much so yeah it's all feeling pretty nice and I'm happy with that this one's pretty much all ready for primer so yeah like I was saying this spot here that had a bit of surface rust so that became a high spot I sand it back to bare metal as much as I could but it still was um, too high for me and I didn't want to smack it out with a hammer or anything like that so like I did surrounding areas light skim of bog made it all even and then once the primer's on that'll blend it all in nice and even well I'm pretty happy with that it's all looking nice and straight um, which is what you want in the end all the high spots and low spots have been attended to it's all nice and smooth um, pretty much I've got all the rest of the panels to go and what's on the car so I will repeat repeat process for each and one of each and every one of them so the goal is just to get the panel straight remove any high or low spots or any imperfections best as you can otherwise you can still do it after primer it just means you'll be going through a lot more primer so pretty much low spots skimmer bog get all sanded smooth and that's no worries high spots if you can hammer them out um, I'd recommend that just because then you won't have to use as much bog but if not then the body fillers still do the job quite well but always thanks for watching hope it helped a few of you out and stay tuned for the next one Money. <laughs>